Welcome to the NCAA South Central Regional Quarterfinal Postgame Press Conference. Lady Buffs get a 3-0 win tonight. First round victory over UT Tyler. Joining us, head coach Kendra Potts. Also joining her, senior Tori Miller and junior Briley Contreras. Coach Potts, we'll let you start off. Your thoughts on a really impressive performance tonight. You open up the tournament in style with a sweep win over UT Tyler. Right. Um, with, with playoffs, we want to make sure it's a build. It doesn't have to be a fast build, but we want to make sure we're building in uh, to see Tyler for the third time this year. We weren't overthinking it, but we were very aware of it. As much as we are familiar with them, they're also familiar with us. And so we knew that they would have a good scout against us, and it's playoffs, you know. And so um, some of their strengths came out within that second and third set, but I really liked our counter punches. And uh, I don't know, you, you can tell the Lady Buffs already play some playoff volleyball, so it was a lot of fun to just see how they opened the gate. Tori, you were certainly ready for uh, volleyball action tonight. You finished with 18 kills, got that last dig with 10 kills there at the end, so you got a double-double. Um, talk about what it means to you and to your team to be hosting here uh, in the box. The crowd was into it, and you guys had such a good start. Yeah, um, hosting my senior year is definitely something that's super special to me. Uh, coming from my freshman year, going to Regis, losing in the quarterfinals, and just barely chipping into the regional tournament that year to now, it's just amazing to look back and see the body of work and how everyone bought in on the way. And just to be able to be rewarded this way, my senior year is like an amazing feat, obviously. And to have Kendra here with me, like we, we always joke we were freshmen together. <laughs> and like just to be able to do that together is just something super special. Riley Contreras tonight from that libero spot, 18 digs for you. I want you to talk about not only your defense, but your team defensively. UT Tyler has really good offensive players, but whether it was the block or whether it was outstanding digs, it seemed like defensively you had an answer all night for the Patriots. I think that defense is all about effort, and my team never lacks any effort. So I think it was really cool to just see everyone go all out the entire match, and it was really awesome. Um, how do you think that the energy of the crowd affected your game? Uh, well, first of all, it was... I had to look up and take a moment and, and sink it in because I'm just super grateful. I feel like there's not a lot of places like this in the country, and I don't want to take that for granted personally. Um, but this this is what it is. This is just what the panhandle does. They show up uh, for all teams, whether it's high school, middle school, college. And so I'm very grateful. Just our culture around here is just amazing, and we appreciate it, and we felt it. It was awesome. No doubt. It was, it was packed. Mm -hmm. um, you're playing with a pretty heavy target right now, even even at home. You know how how do you how, how do your girls like you step up in that? Do you love that a little bit? Um, we are embracing this target. Uh, we we've been talking about the target since January um, after after last season, knowing that we're going to get everybody's best and not not look at it as a victim going. We just have to play our best every night, but be grateful for that opportunity and expect it. Um, they can probably elaborate, but I think the target is something that you got to learn to actually even just feel grateful that you can be one. Um, and so we're not going to overthink it, but we know it's there. And then you guys, either MSU, um, not MSU Denver, Colorado Mesa or Dallas Baptist next, kind of how you already strategically, you know, planning for whoever you have to face tomorrow. Mm -hmm. At, well, as coaches, we definitely have the, the freedom to be able to look ahead. So we've definitely been kind of planning ahead and looking at scouts. But my biggest thing is I want our, our girls to be in the day they're in. Uh, absolutely, we're going to watch whoever it might be. Then we're just going to game plan and, and just understand that we want to make sure people have to deal with us first. And, um, and so I'm excited. Two great teams to be in a re or regional semifinal match in. So, again, just grateful to be here. Uh, Coach Potts, uh, you talked about a little bit the matchup with UT Tyler. We talked on Monday about how you guys performed against them earlier this year in the two matchups. This is definitely the strongest performance you guys had against them. What do you think led to that? I just I feel a season is we learn how to learn in a season. And so the way we're learning now is completely different than how we were learning in September. Um, and so th that's that's the cool thing about these guys is that we get to, I don't know, it's just different looking at them, coaching them. We can even just give each other eye contact and be like, Got it. And uh, and so I think that has a lot to do with it. We've just grown together so well. There's so much trust that I think that's why the outcome was how it was tonight. And then, Tori, you talked kind of all year about building up. Hold on, I'm trying to move the camera here. There we go. Uh, you talked all year about kind of building up to this point and uh, being ready for, for this time of year. Uh, definitely looked like you were playing at your peak uh, out there tonight, 18 kills, and you really took over at the end. Talk about how well you feel like Coach Paz has done and you've done personally at, at building up to this point and how great you're feeling heading into this part of the year. 
Yeah, I mean, this season has had its challenges, and everybody has been super patient, including the coaching staff. And they've been really great about letting us work through our, like, whatever injury or whatever setback we have to get us to this point and not making us come back too fast. And so, like, I think that's a huge part of the playoffs is keeping people healthy, and I think we did it really well this year. There's no doubt that you guys have so much chemistry in the locker room with this whole team, Briley, Tori, y'all both. Just kind of speak on the energy now that it's the postseason. I think that everyone is just taking every moment for what it is, and it's just really special to do with this team. I think we come into the postseason with a huge chip on our shoulder because obviously everyone wants to be na last year's national champions, and we want to be national champions again, and we know what, what it's going to take because everyone's going to give us their best, and we've been seeing it all year long. I mean, it's not going to change, and so I think we just have a huge chip on our shoulder, and it makes you take care of your inner circle that much more. We like last we preach that we love each other so much and we're a family. And this year we have to be a little bit tighter because it's coming from all angles now. And so we just grew together even more. Coach Potts, Tori and Briley, congratulations uh, on a, a great performance tonight. You guys move on 29th win of the season. You're moving on to the semifinals and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.